Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. More than 500 years ago, Guru Nanak Dev Ji founded the Sikh religion to fight against social and economic injustices. Sikhism has always been a religion that promotes equality for all. Today, amongst us, we have someone who shares similar viewpoints. Congressman Joe Kennedy is not new to us or the political landscape. Congressman Kennedy has dedicated his career to social and economic justice. He is fighting for the basic dignity of every American family and a politics that is inclusive, representative, and fair. Born and raised in Massachusetts and having a family that has strong ties to the political arena, Congressman Kennedy has been deeply integrated within the political fabric from a very young age. Apart from that, his journey from Stanford to the Peace Corps to Harvard Law School has prepared him well to tackle the challenges which our country faces. Congressman Kennedy is deeply engaged in various issues that face our country today and can have a direct and lasting impact on our lives. Social and economic challenges like gun violence, education equity, universal health care, economic justice, and affordable housing are just some of the areas where Congressman Kennedy is actively involved. It is my honor and pleasure to welcome to our congregation Congressman Kennedy. I am deeply, deeply honored and humbled to be here with all of you on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for the reception I've received so far today. Um, to President Baljeet Singh Nijar, to the entire executive committee, the trustees, entire community, thank you for welcoming me into this good water today. To Congresswoman Catherine Clark. Catherine, hi. <laughs> Always a pleasure to be with you. Uh, and uh, to see you here. Thank you for welcoming me into your district as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I um, just want to begin personally by saying how touched I am by your, again, hospitality and grace and the opportunity for me to be here with all of you, um, particularly at this time. Uh, the fact that you would reach out and extend a hand uh, to me means more than I think you can imagine, and I'm grateful for it. A little over a century, half a century ago, the United States elected its very first Sikh, Sikh member of Congress, Dalit Singh Saud. An immigrant inspired to journey to our shores by the words of Abraham Lincoln, he faced long odds for election, battling racism, ignorance, and stubborn expectation about what someone who looked like him who sounded like him, who prayed like him, what someone like he could accomplish. Yet given every reason to doubt the capacity of his fellow Americans, the congressman said that he, quote, had faith in the American sense of justice and fair play. He was right. Yet still today, in 2020, his work, our work, is far from finished. In 2012, a white supremacist killed six sick men and women and wounded four more in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Since the 2016 election, there has been a 17% spike in anti-sick violence. Recent studies have shown that more than half of young Sikhs who wear turbans have been either verbally or physically assaulted in their schools. And still, those statistics and studies don't measure the pain caused by random screenings at airports or public events that aren't so random at all, or the injustice of having to display such intense patience when you are followed in malls or asked yet again to match ignorance with compassion. Or the horror of a president of the United States who takes to social media to share dangerous stereotypes to millions of his followers. Yet still, as Congressman Sound said, told us those decades ago, this community's faith in each other and in your neighbors never wavers. 
Your faith in, this comp- in the promise of this country never weakens. Because you know that the fundamental promise that this nation makes each of its citizens is that opportunity, equality, and justice cannot be limited by the God of your prayers. And that this promise, the one that we make to each other, extends far beyond just freedom from persecution and discrimination, but into our daily lives. That sick students should not be ostracized. That sick employees cannot be held back by their beliefs of their supervisors. That sick athletes cannot be asked to compromise their religious practices to step onto a court or onto a field. That Punjabi Indians seeking refuge in this nation should not be turned away by an administration paralyzed by its own fear. This is our task. It is our burden and it is our journey. And it's why we are in this together. Not just to acknowledge or reward a steadfast faith in our nation, but because every single person who calls this land home deserves to be treated with dignity and humanity. The equality that echoes through this Gurdwara. It's why I promise that I will always be by your side and that you know that you will always have a seat at my table. I hope that you will never hesitate to let me know how I can be a partner in your efforts. Thank you so much for your hospitality this morning. Thank you.